Sorry, your Christmas party was ruined, Jesus. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10, guys. 10 days of this. Mm hmm Anyway, what are we doing today? So we're going to talk about our favorite Christmas movies, except that we're going to rank them, and we wrote descriptions about them, and with those, those descriptions, we're going to try to guess. We are our top three favorite Christmas movies going in ascending order, so we'll start with number three. We'll work up to number one. We're going to alternate. Yes. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. All right, so this is your third favorite Christmas movie. Yes. Really, I mean, just to clarify, hers is the, her three favorite Christmas movies. Mine is the three best Christmas movies. That is so not true. Jake has the worst taste in entertainment. Carry on. What's okay. yours? What's your first? All right, so. I'm all warmed up from guessing yesterday. <laughs> A man has to fight for custody of his son. Santa Claus? Jeez! <laughs> you done it so quickly. I thought I had disguised it well enough. I don't think there's many Christmas movies with a, a custody battle in it. Mm. Well, that's my third favorite Christmas Which one? movie. The first one. That's first the one. only one that has a custody mm. battle. Yeah, those movies suck. I See, I know. If you don't like the Santa Claus, you don't have good taste in Christmas movies. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. You ready for mine? Mm -hmm. Okay. Christmas is just around the corner. The village is buzzing as shoppers storm down doors for incredible sales up to 99% off. Through misadventures, heart, and friendship, a young citizen and her reluctant acquaintance discover the true meaning of Christmas during this village's 1,000th Christmas celebration. Wow. The Grinch, obviously. The Grinch. Jim Carrey's The Grinch. Yeah, I knew exactly. I knew exactly when he said 99% yeah, off. I not give away, but I had to put it in there. Our kids watch that so much. That's that's a that's the best version of the Grinch, I think. They came up with an animated one that's pretty good. I don't know what other versions of the Grinch there are. Was there the, one before that? Yeah, there's the cartoon one, oh, which is right. very okay. short, and that's based right. off the book. And then there's Benedict Cumberbatch is the new one. Mm -hmm. um, but my favorite is Jim Carrey as well. Yeah, one. that's a good one. Yeah. Okay, this is my second favorite. Okay. A man decides to reconnect with his birth father around the holidays. That's it? Mm -hmm. That's all you're giving me. If I give you anything else, it will give it away. I just, I just painted you a picture. Well, I didn't Mozart realize this just was drama in, class. Mozart just walked into this room and just, I just gave you this. Mozart is a musician. I was conducting. Oh, see, I thought we were talking about the word. I thought you should have said Shakespeare or something. You know, like the written word. Anyway, okay. I didn't realize man, this was drama class. I was trying to make it hard to guess. A man Jake's wants over to here. reconnect with his... With his birth father around the holidays birth father this could also be the santa claus no because birth father implies that he was adopted or or otherwise displaced from his father or he's just become estranged from his dad would also fit that description santa let me claus. just tell you this is santa claus two no okay do i know this movie yeah 100 percent. yeah Reconnect with his birth Everyone father. Everyone watching this knows what movie I'm talking about. Animated? No. Mm, reconnect with his birth father. So he's adopted, you said. Uh, like a Hallmark movie? No. Ooh, very popular? Super yes. popular. Yes. Incredibly. Give me some, give me the, give me the next line. Hmm. I didn't write anything else. So I have to think of something. Um, so unprepared. <clears throat> unprofessional. No, I'm just so good at what I did that now I have to yeah. give you a hint. Okay, so being good is giving incredibly vague hints. I'll just change mine up next time. I, I'll make it so you can't guess it, and then Jake, look if, how good if, I am. If you want to make this a game, it can't be easy to guess. Can't be impossible either. It involves mm -hmm. a publishing company. Okay, wait. A publishing company? A book publishing company in New York City. Are the Olsen twins in it? No. <laughs> um, is, does he get arrested? Did anyone else like to grandmother's house we go? Because I love that movie. Yes, I think he does. On his way into town? Um, no. He's there to like open a toy store or something or close a toy store? No. You know what I'm talking about? No. A publishing company. A book publishing company in New York City. His birth father has a family. He has a wife and a son. <sighs> no, think about it. Elf. Oh, hey, that was good. Okay, that was a good a book publishing company. His father runs a book publishing um, company, and at the end, he ends up 
publishing the book. You know out. why I didn't guess that one? Because that one also sucks. If there's one thing I'm sick of seeing, I'll, I will watch the Santa Claus. I'll watch the Santa Claus trilogy. It's a trilogy. I'll yeah. watch the Santa Claus trilogy nine times. That's 27 movies before I have to sit through the Elf once. My turn. <clears throat> Maybe I should make this harder. I'll take out. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take out my adjectives, just like you. Okay. <clears throat> a man is confronted by his only friend, family, and someone else I'm not going to say because apparently that would give it away. If this cynic can find their Christmas spirit, more than one life might be spared. Are you talking about Scrooge? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a Christmas Carol, also a Jim Carrey movie. That's my favorite one, the animated one. I don't like the animated one. What? Movie. It's nice and dark and dingy. It's pretty good. When I was younger, I think the one that I always watched was the Muppet one. Yeah, that one's okay. I mean, Jim Carrey's just got some good Christmas movies. I find that one a little depressing. I, it, I has a, it has a very, what do they call that kind of art style where it's kind of dark and creepy? It's like... I don't know. Kind of almost Tim Burton, but not. Tim kinda. Burton usually isn't... It's creepy, but it's very I, bright at the same ugh. time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I agree. Okay. So, this is my number one favorite so movie. number one favorite movie. And okay. I'm not... I don't think you've ever, ever seen this. Hmm... Two women switch houses for a relaxing vacation after they both get dumped around the holidays. The holiday. Yeah. How'd you know? Boom. Jack Black's in the movie, right? Yeah. Yep. I was going to use that for a hint if you didn't know. Uh. So you have seen it? Uh, no. Oh, you just know it because Jack Black's in it? You said the holiday and... I didn't say the holiday. Yeah, you said they switched lives during the holiday or something like that. Oh. And then just like I'm gonna be honest, I was I really, anticlimactic. Your other hints were hard. I suppose that was that wasn't very informative either. Yeah, but um, you know what? I'm discovering the clue to making a good hint. Sidetrack. The the this is my present to you on Vlogmas Day 10 on the 10th day of Christmas. Jacob gave you this tip. The secret to making a good clue is to remove your adjectives. Okay, so you're saying I had good clues. You had hard clues. Okay, so what was the point in saying that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, okay so say? I was just going to say that I really like The Holiday, but I kind of wish someone else was in it other than Cameron Diaz because I don't think her acting is the best. Cameron Diaz, she was in The Mask? Yeah. Mm. I mean, she's incredibly beautiful, so I understand, but her acting... Man, I'm just throwing out the Jim Carrey's today. Yeah, yeah Jimmy, Jimmy on the mind. The mask. Oh, he's in the mask. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I like Jack Black. I, I for a long time, didn't like Jack Black. And then something happened inside me and a switch flipped. Was it his YouTube channel? Because I love his YouTube channel. Uh, I think it was I think it was a little bit prior to this. Um, I don't care for his YouTube channel. You don't? I mean, I like it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry, Jack Black. Okay? <laughs> it's not that I don't like your YouTube channel. I just don't really care for vloggers. Vloggers suck. People who vlog suck. Anyway, but I kind of rediscovered Jack Black. I know it kind of binges movies, like all the Kung Fu Panda movies, for whatever reason I find hilarious. Oh, Nacho Libre is really funny. Um, I like School of Rock. Obviously, School of Rock is, you know, a classic. Yeah. Okay, The Holiday. I'll have to check it out. I probably won't like it, because I bet there's a lot of drama. And I hate movies with it's drama. It's just a, it's a holiday romantic comedy. The rom-coms. All right, here is the best Christmas movie. Are you ready? Yeah. <sighs> Santa wasn't always so jolly. Losing your loved one, and with it, a chance at a loving family, would turn anyone cold and wanting to live life in solitude. <laughs> Through a selfless act by a selfish person, and the wondrous eyes of a child getting their first toy, this hermit becomes the Santa we now know. I don't know. What? Nothing? All right, I'll add in an adjective. <clears throat> Santa wasn't always so jolly. Losing your loved one and with it the chance at a loving family would turn anyone cold and wanting to live life in solitude. Through a selfless act by a selfish mailman and a wondrous eyes of a child giving the first toy the hermit becomes Santa we now know. I added mailman. Oh, it's the one from Netflix. It is. I never watched that. Uh, you were right beside me. I know you weren't paying attention. Claws is what Claws. it's called. It's a new animated Christmas movie. And Netflix has been bringing it the last two years of the Christmas mm -hmm. movies. And the one they put out this year, the little animated flick, it's the best Christmas movie of all time. Wow. It's got all kinds of emotion. It. It's got a really fresh take on Santa, which is hard to find, I think. Hmm. I mean, I don't. I haven't seen any other movie that comes close to doing this kind of Santa story. Interesting. It's really good. I feel like I kind of want to mention some honorable I do mentions. have an honorable mention as well. Um, I... Well, I, of course, like The Grinch as well. 
I can't speed round them. Give me some speed clues. Oh, okay. Wicked speed clues. Okay. Wicked, um, a boy gets chicken pox and has to deal with Homeland Security while he's oh, home alone. Yeah, I okay. like I like Home Alone three the best. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna think I'm nuts. Isn't that the one without the original actor? Yeah. Okay. That's my favorite. It's one with the parrot. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people just really like the first two. Screw them. Okay. Um. A boy loses his father in a tragic accident. In uh, Frost or something like that. Frosty, Frosted, Frost, Frost, Jack, Jack Frost. Frost. That one's sad. That is so sad. Yeah. But I do like it. Um, okay. Mother Nature has to use her forces to help Santa. To help Santa. This isn't the movie. That hot and cold guy, is it? It is? Yeah, okay. That's the only Mother Nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Year without a Santa Claus. Year without a Santa Claus. Yeah. I have nostalgia I'm, for that movie. I don't love it. Yeah, I okay. I when I watch that movie I frequently think, uh, but when it gets to the song, I really just like the you song. You just you're bopping. I love the Bop. Heat Miser and the Snow Miser song. And that movie and the Rudolph movie, like the same kind of style, like the weird puppets or whatever, mm, like the, the, the clay. Claymation. My mom put it on the other day and Eden has no interest in it. Nope. We've come At too all. far. Yeah. Anyway, you got more? That's your last? Um, yeah, that was it. I have one honorable mention. I couldn't think of any other big ones that I loved. Um, let's see. A boss is trying to swing morale at his workplace. Um, and even though it might be a little risque and against the rules, he goes out and buys like 12 bottles of vodka. Brings it back to the Christmas party. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Lampshades are involved. This is probably a movie I've never Implied seen. nudity. You've 100% seen it. What? What are you talking about? Digital cameras. He's talking about The Office. <laughs> yeah, The Office Christmas parties. That doesn't count. Why? It's not a movie. If we were doing it was an Christmas honorable mention of shows, that would be different. You know what this reminds me of? Okay, I need to I need to speak on this. Doesn't count. Merry Christmas. Okay, when I was looking up Christmas movies to make sure I wasn't missing any. All of the lists of ranked Christmas movies said that It's a Wonderful Life was the number mm. one best Christmas movie. And I'm sorry, but that is literally not only the worst Christmas movie, it's one of the worst movies I've ever seen is in my life. Is that the one where he gets his tongue stuck to a pole? It, yeah, uh, no. Mm. It is so incredibly depressing. It's the one where he gets his ear cut off. Never seen if it. If that gives you any hint of how that movie is. Full circle. It's Back to Van Gogh. It's so bad. I, I despise that movie. It makes me upset every time I watch it. And the reason why I brought it up with the TV shows is because uh, there's an episode of Friends where Phoebe goes back and watches movies that her mother shielded her Phoebe from. Phoebe is the... The blonde. Blonde one. Okay. And she walks into the apartment and she's like, it's a sucky, sucky life. It just kept getting worse and worse. It should have been called It's a Sucky Life. And just when you think it can't suck anymore, it does. And that's exactly how I feel. Thanks for that. And then on a high note. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to be depressed, go watch A Wonderful Life. If you want to be impressed, go watch Claws. What's your worst, like, what Christmas movie do you despise? Elf. Really? I, I mean, I... Maybe because it's overplayed. I don't know. I'm sure it's it's a fine movie. I don't know if I hate it as much as A Wonderful Life. I'm sure there are many other movies I hate a lot more. But it just you, gets... You know what? You would probably like It's a Wonderful Life because you like Scrooge. Is A Wonderful Life depressing? Yeah. I hate depressing things. Why do you like Scrooge then? Scrooge is, has a, is a happy movie. Not really. What? Not until the very end. If it's too much bad before it gets good, it's a no-go. You suck. You suck. Sorry, your Christmas party was ruined, Jesus. That was not the quote. What is it? Happy birthday, Jesus. Sorry, your <laughs> Christmas party is lame. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Vlogmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you.